everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to capture a game on your computer. And this is going to be easy using Streamlabs OBS because they just automatically detect it. Now, if it doesn't automatically detect it, we can go ahead and just capture your entire screen or monitor. And that's what I'm doing right here. So to do this, let's go to the scene. And then let's go to the plus icon. And I'm going to show you how to capture your display. So we can go to display. Uh, capture. So let's go to this and go to done. Now uh, let's go to sources. And we have the option to simply just capture a display. So we can go to display capture. We can go to primary or secondary monitor. And this could be one of the easier ways to do it. So I already have existing ones right here. Well, let's go to add new source. Let's go to display one, uh, one number two. And then I'll add this in. Go to add source. And then we can go to capture method automatic. And then we can go to our display. And we have our primary display right here. And we can see that. Now to capture a game, if uh, we want to, we can select this. And then we can scroll on down on here. We have game capture. Makes it pretty obvious. We can select this. Built in uh, works with most modern computers. Go to this and just go to game capture, wherever you want. You can go like a CSGO or something. Go to add source. And then should automatically detect it. If you don't see it in here, uh, we could try switching this up and go to different mode, capture any full screen applications. So I have OBS in the background and is capturing that full screen application. We have capture specific window. You can choose this specific window in here. Uh, and let's choose uh, Xbox in here, see if that worked. Nope. So that is the Xbox application on Windows. Uh, let's go to um, what I have Tom Petty playing in the background. That's not working either. So you can try doing that. I think it has to be an application. Uh, so let's go to oh, Streamlabs. Does this one work? Nope. But you can try that and see if that works. Capture foreground window with hockey. All right. I don't think I've ever used this one before. So you can just switch through here and see if one of them works, but most of the time just auto works. And then capture third party overlay such as Steam. So you might want that on. So if you want to uh, capture like an overlay, uh, go ahead and check mark that. I think this also applies to um, the Windows uh, game bar. So if you press, uh, was it uh, Windows button G, you can capture that on your stream. Just a theory. Then we get a hook. Right. I'm not really entirely sure what this is, but fastest is probably the most uh, efficient. So we have that option. Now, if that doesn't work, we can go back to sources. And we have window capture specifically right here. Battle with most monitors PCs. OK, you can go to uh, add new. Now I have some things like my phone screen in here. And let's just do test. All right. Yeah, let's do that. Tessie. And then we can go to a specific window once again. So let's see if I can add in. Uh, let's just go to this one or the Xbox one. There we go. We got the Xbox app in the background. Automatic. We can go to Windows 7 or Windows 10. And just mess around with these. See if you can get it to work. Capture cursor. Force SDR. I think that is standard. I don't know. So SDR. So here's my Xbox application in the background. We want to just switch this. We can. So that's three different ways you can capture a game right there. Hopefully, this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your six tech.